of miles. So, it's a lot of walking. I mean, not a ton, but. There we go. Ooh, good bass. Good bass. Oh, yeah. Well, guys, this is beautiful. It's a little deep right there to be wading. Um, and I don't have my waders on. Looks like maybe down that way would be all right. I'm gonna try casting from shore for a little while. I can run back up to the car and grab my waders if I need. It's beautiful. Um, so I've got a brand new rod. Well, I mean, I've had it for a couple weeks, but first time I'm fishing with it. This is the Risen um, 23PS rod. It's a four weight. Oh, just something hit right there. Um, and their LW reel, which is really beautiful. This is a really handsome setup. It's really nice. I mean, it's nice. Uh, look at this cork. Beautiful. Really nice wood insert. It's got a beautiful olive um, color to the rod mixed with the with the green reel. It just kind of looks real nice. And this is their kind of higher end. Um, this is technically their nymphing rod. It's a little bit of a fast action, kind of, you know, um, tip flex type rod. Um, this reel has super smooth drag. I already was using it, um, peeling some drag off. And my gosh, one of the smoothest drags I've ever fished with. Um, it's a good setup too. I mean, the rod's a little under $300. The reel is only 100 and I think 29 or something like that. So it's a good deal, of course. Better deal if you guys use my discount. Hmm. First time casting this rod, I mean, I'm not really doing much of a cast, but it's kind of a heavy uh, fly. So I'm just roll casting it and it's doing it. And this is a four weight. So, I mean, it's not super heavy of a fly, but now the reel is kind of light and so this is a little tip heavy with this reel slightly but it's not that bad well i just realized it's really deep along here so i don't think i'm gonna get waders on I'm gonna have to try to come over oh this is Boy, I can't tell. Is that poison ivy right there? Yeah, I think so. Great. Well, guys, I'm not sure how to get up and over this. Mm -mm. No, thank you. Bit treacher treacherous. Hmm. How am I gonna do this? It's gotta be another path. Okay, here we go. Another way down. Man. So let's see. This could be it. Now I don't have much back cast, obviously. So all right guys, so I switched to a top water. I just saw a couple fish come up. This is a, a small gurgler. This one's purple. A little bit of flash. Now, even though there's foam on the top of, of gurglers, I always use um, floating. It's funny, around here I find that not many people use floating. And it's important. Alright guys, so I changed to a little mini popper. Let's see how that works. I want to get out to there. Let's see if I even can might be tough. 
without waders. I mean, I'm not gonna die if I get wet, but prefer not to. Makes for less of a fun day. All right, well, this is a, <laughs> gotta jump to that log and it's, it's about four feet and it's narrow, so we'll see. Hopefully I don't fall. Oh, my foot got a little wet. Well, that's better though than completely in. All right, where do I go now? I think that, that one moves from what I remember. Poison ivy. I could be wrong, but there we go. <laughs> well. Alright, I'm gonna go get waders on. Alright guys, well, that spot was not that great, uh, and it was a crowded park. I just, I got a couple hits, but nothing. I hear there's good sized bass in there, I just, I couldn't cast, there's nowhere to, to be. And I really like that rod, but it is a little stiffer, so it's not the best for um, close proximity, which all the casts were, nothing was like far casts. A couple of them were and it did great there um, but the stiffer the rod the you know harder it is to load at a you know at a short distance so um, it's great for long distance though so I'm gonna go back to the Medina um, it's about a 40 minute drive I'm gonna head up to that spot that I always go I know I there's fish there I know I catch fish we'll see how it is um, I hear that they're gonna be stocking trout soon so and by the time you see this video they might have already so maybe in a week or two I'll try to hit that up and get some trout fishing this is a great nymphing rod I think well guys so I made it to this area I think I see some fish right here so well of course <laughs> that always happens Boy, there's a bunch of junk in the water. All right, well, got one. A little bass. Fun though. Beautiful. It does not have the rough, rough patch, so that's what I hear is how you can tell if it's a wad or not.
Here we go. Decent little bass. I mean, nothing huge, but hey, it's something. Woo. It's a feisty little guy, too. And this is a new pattern I created, guys. It's, a, it's not a bad little bass. Look at that. So it's, it's articulated. Anyway, we'll see. I'll keep developing that. It seems like it works. I was developing it for carp, really. But there's a bunch of catfish here. I never can seem to get these catfish to bite. They just never, ever bite. It's like I'm right through all these catfish. Tons of them. Guys, so this was a far walk, but I remembered there was a lot. Oh, yeah, there's a good bass. Okay. It's going to be a tough cast. There sure are less fish than there were when I was here last year with Paul, so I'm not sure. Well guys, I am tired. I walked far. My phone says I went four miles. So, it's a lot of walking. I mean, not a ton, but... There we go. Ooh, good bass. Good bass. Oh yeah. Woo! -hoo. Yeah, jumper. Ooh, peeling some drag. This is a really nice smooth drag, guys. I'm loving it. Ooh. This is the biggest bass I've gotten in a while. Nice. Look at that, guys. Oop. Very nice. I had cut the barb on that one. Fish after fish after fish. Good little spot. All right, this guy's not as big, but you know. variation of um, Egan's uh, oh, headstand, I think it's called. 
similar. <laughs> it's the water and they hit. <laughs> All right, guys. Just have a kind of slow day. Five fish and five casts, I think. Well, well, that might be it for the spot. Nope. <laughs> So, Paul texted me and asked how I was doing. He knew I was coming out, he couldn't come today. I told him I caught a couple, but nothing big. He said, cast and cover, even if you don't see fish. And that's what I had done, and bam. So thanks, Paul. I appreciate the recommendation. sunny. Uh-oh. Ooh. Huh. Nice fish. He's not a bad one either. Boy, those things, powerful little little guys for being so small. Wow, guys, it's like fishing in an aquarium, really. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Little turtle. Ooh, big bass. This is a hard spot. I think it's because it's close to the, the road, so a lot of people come in here. So all the fish are... Problem is, this is so... So many, uh... Weeds. Right. Thing is, they can see me really well, so I'm gonna sit. See if that doesn't help. Ooh. I just had a carp go after it. Oh, hey.
Well guys, I had a great time. I didn't catch as many as I kind of had hoped for, but hey, I mean, that was a decent sized bass I got there and that one spot produced quite a few. It's weird, there's so many fish in the, that little part back there that you would think I would catch. I mean, I, I threw, I've thrown everything at them, streamers and I mean, I caught a couple, but big, you know, catfish and carp here and, and some nice bass and nothing. Um, granted, at that spot, they can kind of see us, so maybe that's it. I don't know. I'm tired though, guys. I think, um, I think I'm well on my way of six or seven miles here. Probably hit about eight by the time I get back to the car. <laughs> Which isn't that bad, but getting through water and casting and all that, I'm, I'm pooped. So anyway, I had a good time though. It's a good, it's a good uh, tired, you know. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Um, definitely go check out this rod, 23 PS. Like I said, it's about $300. The reel is a lot less. The reel is only 100. I think it's like 129. I could be wrong, maybe it's 150, but it's a good reel. Um, this thing is uh, it's light and has one of the best drags I've ever used. It's super duper smooth. I mean, it just kind of, there's no, you barely put any pressure on it. It just smoothly moves out. There's no kind of moving quick, you know? So I, I really like it. It's actually a really good reel. So um, I'm excited to have it. But anyway, go check out Risen uh, stuff. They sell more than this. I and mean, they have some $100 rods. They um, This is their higher end uh, for fresh water. Um, they do have a saltwater rod that I just got. I'm excited about. But they have a lot of great stuff, guys, for good prices. And yeah, so anyway, we'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, subscribe, guys. Hey, you could subscribe and maybe hit the like button if you like this. It helps with the algorithms and all that with, with YouTube. You guys know how all that works, so maybe you don't, but I'm kind of still figuring it all out, but I'm here making videos, so that's what counts, right? So anyway, I will see you guys on the next video. Now you go catch some fish. Boy, he's not afraid, is he? <clears throat> Bye, turtle.